on contract levels, but I've also interviewed and got job offers from these companies. So this strategy works. Hey everyone, my name is Brandi Morgan and welcome to my channel. We talk about all things freelancing, working remote, personal branding, and creating the life that you want outside of the normal nine to five job. If you wanna be part of this freelance family, make sure to hit that subscribe button now. And of course, please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like this content and that I can keep creating it for you. Have you ever thought about building your own personal brand as a software developer? Well, in this video, I'm gonna cover the five essential steps that you need to build out your own personal brand that will land you your dream job. All right, let's dive into this. The five steps that I'm about to go over with you are what led me to interviews with IBM, Microsoft. They've led me to lead clients like MongoDB and Microsoft and many, many others. So I can promise you this stuff has worked for me and that is exactly why I'm sharing it with you. So please grab a notebook or pull up your notes on your computer and listen and saddle up. The first thing that you want to do is define your niche. So you're probably thinking, well, Brandy, I'm a software developer. No, no, no. Being a software developer, there are so many different like types of software development. Because if I'm like, oh, I build software, literally every person that builds software is like, what's your stack? Or what, what's your preferred language? So you need to define that. So an example of that would be, so when I was starting out, I defined myself as a React, React Native developer. That was my niche, that was my specialty. So pick what that is for you. But before you pick that thing, or before you decide to go after some language and learn it if you're just starting out, you need to pick something that is hireable. Because if you are trying to get your dream job, you need to make sure that they use that language or framework at that company. So do your research and figure out what they are hiring for. An example, let's say you want to work at Airbnb. What you would do is you would go to Airbnb's website, you're gonna scroll, scroll, scroll to the bottom. On the left-hand side, you're gonna see careers. When you go to careers, you're gonna tap on engineering and there is a list of all their open engineering positions. Let's click on one. You'll see that you need Java and Kotlin. Now that we have those two things, we can go into step number two. All right, step number two, create content about that language or framework that you are defining your niche in. So going with our Airbnb example, we would want to either use Kotlin or Java. So you could create content. Examples of this would be how to structure projects in Kotlin, five things to get started in Kotlin development, or how to build your first app using Kotlin. Things like that, things that are searchable, like topics that people are actually searching for, create content, whether that's written content or video content like YouTube. Do you see or do you understand why I'm telling you to create content like this? Co seriously, comment yes or no below so I know that you're understanding this or getting the information and it's making sense to you. So Kotlin is a pretty hot topic that you could start creating content around. But to take your content one step further, since you already know that Airbnb is using it for that particular project, what if you did how about I recreate Airbnb and Kotlin? Or I recreate this aspect of Airbnb using Kotlin? Or figure out some way to utilize those two keywords of Kotlin and Airbnb for you to recreate something. So please comment down below if that makes sense. If not, I'll explain. The reason why you would want to make content around the framework or the language that a company is using and also utilize the company name is because it has a chance of getting noticed by that company. Also, when you are talking with people from that company, um, which we'll get into in another step, is you can link them to your blog post or your YouTube video where you're going over their framework and their language that their company uses along with you problem solving something at their company. 
It shows that you took the initiative to think through the project and also to take your time to build something that could possibly help their company. So let me know if that makes sense. Comment yes or comment no. Pick an emoji, throw it in there. So let me know if you guys are getting this and it's making sense. Because if it's not, then I need to explain it better. But that is what you would want to do. That's how you would first want to set it up is find a company that's hiring, find a language, make sure you know that language or that framework, and then start creating content around it. Become an expert in that language or framework. The beautiful thing about these bigger tech companies is that they have these things called developer advocates. Developer advocates live on social media. They primarily are on Twitter, but I promise you, you can find them other places like YouTube, Instagram, and even TikTok. But you need to get in front of those people. So that is leading us into our next step. So our next step is in engagement. So start engaging with people. Just like I said before, find the developer advocates or community managers at these companies and start engaging. No joke, because I did all these previous steps, I actually got an interview with Microsoft. They flew me out to Seattle and I went through the entire process all because I did those first three steps. And obviously, step number four, which is engagement. I found their developer advocates on these different platforms and I started engaging with them. What that did is they went to my profile, which had a link to my YouTube channel. They saw I was creating content around a specific framework and language. And they were like, oh, we're hiring for that. Maybe this person will be interested since they're creating content about it. Do you see the full circle? now okay let me know now in the comments if it's starting to make a little bit more sense to you so find these people you may be asking yourself well how do i find these people a great strategy to find people at these companies is to use linkedin as a tool you don't necessarily need to link in with them but you can search their name and find them on the linkedin platform and then find them on their other social channels this landed me a job with Team Treehouse where I ended up building them a course on, you guessed it, React Native. <laughs> so I found out who was working at Treehouse, who should I be engaging with, and then I found them on their other social platforms and I started engaging with their content. Eventually, I commented, hey, let me know if you guys ever need help creating content around this, this, and this. I would be more than happy to help out. No joke, a week later, I had a contract signed with them and I was building them the introduction to React Native. This strategy works and it hasn't just worked for me one time, it has worked multiple times to help me get in front of the people and it's all through building a strong personal brand around a certain language or framework. And our last step, and this would not be possible if it wasn't for this last one, and that is build a relationship with these people that you're interacting with. If you find a developer advocate at Microsoft, at MongoDB, at Apple, at Google, like pretty much you can find a developer advocate at any of those big companies. If even at Google, they have like Angular, specific developer advocates. At Microsoft, they have specific Azure developer advocates. So do some research and find these people and then build relationships with them. No joke. This has led to so many opportunities for me to work with these companies on contract levels, but I've also interviewed and got job offers from these companies. So this strategy works. So when you go in and you are trying to build a relationship with one of these big companies, you need to A, use their name when you talk to them. Make sure their name is spelled correctly. If they're a developer advocate, they are creating content. They are using social media to get people excited about whatever product or service that they are promoting. So it would make sense that you maybe use that product or service and you went through their videos or their tutorials or read their blog posts and you compliment them on them. Not just, hey, nice article. No, it needs to be a genuine, meaningful comment in response or DM where you actually pulled something from what they said and you applied it to something you have built. You could even go so far as create in a you know how people do reaction videos? You could be like, I took so-and-so's knowledge to build this Azure app. Um, one of the big developer advocates for Azure is John Papa. 
you could literally create a blog post of being the knowledge from John Papa to create this Azure app. Because I guarantee John Papa, I don't know this, but he may have a Google alert set up so when anybody mentions his name on the internet, he gets alerted. Or if something comes out on Twitter, he could have that set up to be notified. So if you write about that, he may see that. And he may be like, oh, and if the article is really well done or the video is really well done, he may start engaging with you or even send it to him, tweet it at him, or DM him, do something to get their attention. But, and that's all the part of building a relationship because you have to get to know the person before you can go in for an ask or they're gonna ask you to come apply or work at their company. But following these five steps have led to so many opportunities that I know that I would not have had if I did not have a personal brand and I took my time to build it and to really connect with these people that are hiring for these big companies. So if you are somebody who's interested in building out your brand, I do have a link to my school. It's called Do School. I go through specifically how to do that on Instagram. And then I also have a ton of content about building a profitable brand. Um, the link is in the description below if you wanna check that out. But you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future content. I hope you guys have a great day.